my bad. Today. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure it was a 3-2-2 as well. Yeah, it was 3-2 win, and I remember all games being relatively close. So all we've right, got so grand sorry, finals. So you, so can so you reset this and get it for wins and you know activate the prize money? We'll see. Yeah, it's extremely exciting, no matter what goes on. So. This, this has probably been one of my favorite matches of the night, just when we saw these guys in winners finals. I think it was winners finals. Yes. And uh, finals. I, I can't say that I was not expecting this to be our winners finals or grand finals. I, I was surprised that you know Abe wasn't able to pull it out. Honestly. Yeah, I honestly I was thought Straight him. Design also could have made it here after seeing. That was that. really close too. Yeah. So I mean, Stas is show you is great. And it, so he's proving he's proving that yeah he could easily be in grand finals if he wants to. And you know, one of the big things that I saw in you know in their last set was that Stash was getting really early kills on Choryu and you know able to take those stocks super early and get that really fast lead. And I'm wondering if Choryu kind of being on a little bit more of a roll is going to be able to do the same thing. Ooh, and eating all of those. Alright, he's not able to punish uh, the recovery. Ooh, I'm sure he was waiting on that one. And here we go with the nearest uh, a size vessel. The jabs keep him out. And the Polythane and FTL pretty punishable. More Nares. Nair the character. Chori has been a, a really, you know, I wouldn't say like overly excited, but he's definitely been paying attention with these up smashes, and he uh, he's been throwing them out, you know, pretty res you know responsibly. He hasn't been too overzealous with them, but yes. he's also been really good at catching those neutral get ups off stage. And that was a really good read from Shoryu, uh, catching him with the that's attack, knowing exactly where he's gonna land, and him keeping him out with. Uh, his sword. And it walk back F tilt has been that's the Sephiroth ledge guard if that's it, or ledge trap if anything. And the counter And it that, reached. That's that's a little surprising. I wasn't expecting that to actually reach. You know the funny part is Stash actually does hate uh Paluti in a counter. He thinks it's he thinks it's kinda bad. Uh oh, and Choryu somehow just just S D. Well, let's see. So that's a, I'm sure that makes Stash feel a little bit better about this game. So you still have the percentage lead though. Alright. And, and Stash, Stash trying to end it. For it. Oh, and nice and two frame. First time there. I've seen that two frame actually hit, I believe. But Paul's hand is pretty hard. Teleport. Keep him out with these F Kelps and Bears. Back, yeah, I was gonna say that back here is gonna do a lot of extra work for him there. And Palutena has a nice back to air herself. That oh still, no! I mean, he went too went low. just a little too oh, low on that one. Uh, so we've got Choryu taking his first game, the Grand Finals. And going back to Battlefield, so that's definitely where uh, you see what I did? Stash didn't seem too terribly concerned about the bands. The bands were smashing the town. Yeah. Yes, this is kind of an interesting thing. I wonder what, what Shorty's Four. going to do. Is he going to uh, go Sephiroth again? I honestly don't know who else that uh, Shorty plays. Uh, uh, he plays Cloud is and Cloud also and Marth. Oh, and Marth too, okay. Well, Sephiroth has definitely done him good today, so I, I don't see too many reasons as to why he would want to switch off. I mean, Cloud did him pretty well that set with uh, Street Design. Oh, okay. Alright, and Stash, and Stash is keeping him out. Oh, that was a weird trade with Down Tilt. Uh, Alright, now. Well, we're just seeing like pretty high level play right now. Yeah, and able, Stash able to time that counter to even get rid of all the orb hits. 
Dash attack shield. Man, that thing and is just so strong. And, 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 and this bear. And this seems like it could be Stash really kicking up and turning on the gas. I mean, this this is absolutely, that was a dominating stunt. And Troy is, of course, going to have to figure out what his pace is going to be if he's wanting to try and keep it. Well, he's probably going to do the same thing he has been doing. That probably is his best bet. Trying to keep Stash out with uh, his normals. Good teleport behind, able to get him to center stage. With no punish. And those bears are really keeping sure you out. Nice explosive and fight. explosive flame. And Troyu honestly having a hard time finding anything uh, substantial to connect here. He's really having a difficult time. Uh, difficult time getting out of the disadvantage. And yeah, he and just keeps getting hit by those bears every time he's trying to come back on stage. So he, he needs to be careful when he's trying to uh, uh, reset neutral. Stash seems very comfortable. He's in a, this is exactly where you want to be on the winner's side of Grand Finals. No, they're all. I remember, oh man, well finally got that, uh, the first stock off, maybe, you know, he doesn't have wing just yet, I spoke too soon, but this is where, you know, Sephiroth can absolutely still do some damage from here, this game is not over yet. We paid $5.99 for this character for a reason, so I absolutely don't want to give him anything else. Alright. Yeah. Surprise, that's not go for the dare there. He's playing carefully, despite being in the lead. Well, Stash is also, he's understanding that he, you know, he can throw this game away just as fast as, you know, Sephiroth can win it for Jordan. So it's not necessarily that Bears kind of just clean it all up. Okay, Band, FD, and Calvo uh, from Stash. So where do you, where would you have to go in this well, matchup? Well, first I would not go Battlefield, I'm not sure why he, no. uh... Battle, the Triplat, I think, is exactly where Palutena wanted to go, but he's wanting to go back, so... I know, now I won't be playing to be an expert on Seth the Raw, so maybe there's something I'm missing, and now he's finally going to Cloud. And we saw last game that he pulled a reverse 3, oh, uh, set, uh, three design going to yeah. Cloud, so maybe he'll do the same with Stash. Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking about is, you know, Cloud is going to have a really hard stay, hard time once he gets off stage here. Yes. And Palutena is not going to give him any leeway, you know, once he gets into disadvantage. And of course, <clears throat> that's easier said than done of just stay out of disadvantage and try and survive. Yeah, it's better since he's getting hit with those bears when he's trying to get back. Which, these traits aren't the worst thing in the world for Toryu right now. I mean, he's, he's definitely putting on a lot more damage than Palutena is out of these, you know, out of these different hits. Oh, oh and he accidentally he, hit uh, the, the, slip spot. the slip spot, yeah. The, that, the round spot that reflects uh, teleports. He helped it too much. And Troy going ahead and you know trying to put on a little bit of percent here. Forty percent, not too bad. Not too bad. And of course, a great reason to go to Battlefield is uh, having these platforms to cloud up here. Yes, but it's also good for Palutena and Nair, yeah. and as we're seeing right now. And Stash didn't punish that, but he is in a bad position. And that was a good uh, stall from Shoryu. And Shoryu's been pretty good overall of reading uh, these teleports out of and, off these platforms. And, and I think that was a, a good uh, idea of Stash to let go of that. He wasn't going to die from the uh, cross slash, but he definitely didn't want his shield broken. And it would have been awfully small if he had Matt let go. Uh, nice up smash. Bear. Good back here. Gonna try and clean up one of these stocks here soon. Oh, and that and last hit, poke. taking it. I don't know how that shield poked, but I guess it did. 
And of course, Stash not even almost about to let Choryu just, you know, chill on stage for no reason with a lead. Uh, and but he's gonna hold on to this stock though, surprisingly enough. Yeah. Choryu used to uh, just keep trying to get as much damage as he can on Stash before he dies. Yep. And Stash kind of trying to pick up on some of his uh, habits here, making sure that he's, you know, not getting too caught out. Oh man, this cloud up is getting beat out by Paulton and there and there. He's having a really hard time here. I thought he was gonna get dragged down off stage for a second, so I'm happy to see that he didn't. Uh, these nares are eating his shield up. Uh, and he's really and keeping him good out. Fair and this is gonna good. be a struggle for sure, you. Stash is definitely just sitting here being very comfortable poking and moving in and out and just daring Choryu to win. And yeah, one bear and now this might be it. He's just keeping him on keeping him on watch right now. And again, bear is just absolutely pivotal for this. And, and pushing him away with the win box just to seal that deal. That's 3-0, right? No. Not three, uh, it's, uh, it's true you won the first one. Oh. Uh, so it's the two, one, two, two one. Stash, yeah. So Stash kind of think, figuring out that he's, you know, he's liking Battlefield so far. So going to town and city, and does he go back to Sephiroth or does he stay Cloud? I guess he's going to, uh, go Cloud? Oh, no, he's going to Mark. See, I haven't seen the Marth yet, so I've just seen the Sephiroth, and I saw a little bit of the Cloud during the street, and then just Cloud there. Honestly, I don't see Marth being too bad of a disadvantage in just a counter pick. And it's not a bad save for Marth, especially if he's on the edge and he gets a tipper, because it kills real early. I don't know, I feel like Marth, you know, more, more so than Lucina, but, or I would guess less so than Lucina, but it doesn't really have like a bad stage they don't want to be on, period. But I can see Town and City being pretty quality for him. Right. Having a little bit of a hard time here to start with, but catching up pretty quickly already with that big tipper. All he has to do is survive, so I don't see how it can be too terrible uh, until he gets spiked like that. Stash being extremely aggressive until he needed him to be. And I believe, you know, Marth absolutely has, an, with tippers just in general, has enough kill power to, to make this comeback. But this is, uh, you know, like you said, Toryu's tertiary character versus Stash's main. So it's uh, definitely going to be a little bit of an uphill battle. Keep him out with the bears like he did before. Now, actually, it might actually be more effective on town for staffs because when you're on the edge of town and city, you're gonna die quicker this stuff than you would on battlefield. Oh yeah, Toryu's shield was getting really small right there before that last hit. So, Stash is just putting on tons of pressure right now, uh, yeah, calling out weird, his jump. And uh, weird up smash. It works from staff. Good near to catch the get hook. Sure, you starting to maybe call out, maybe get a little hesitant there, but trying to call out the overshield there. And store you almost at max raise, actually. Ooh, that's a that's a short yep. grab there, and yes, honestly, that's not even lost stock yet. Yep, and one of those, I don't know, I feel like Palutena up tilt is one of those moves that really shouldn't kill, uh, kind of like Pac-Man down air. Alright, but he has taken a stock. He can make a comeback. He's got to buckle down now. Yeah, still, you know, stock, full stock behind, but already, you know, putting in some serious work. There, there, but it whips and he punches with a grab and pummels. Losing there to keep Palutena out. 
Yeah. And being able to punish these dash attacks and any of these shielded moves, I think is a really big thing that Troy needs to be focusing on because, you know, this is you know, looking a little tough. Oh, that oh, was not yeah. the move. That was a rough time. Dash attack and that bear. And our champion for the uh, second okay. time in a row, Stash. Stash, you want to do your post game interview? Uh, sure. Mario, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Definitely. Thank I you love for coming. coming here. And now, Stash, everyone. Uh, All right, man. That was definitely, Welcome back. It was definitely an interaction just then. <laughs> So, this is number two, man. How does it feel to have another notch in the belt? Um, same thing as last time. I wish my I wish my crawl was better. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to be resembling the past. I, I, for a while, I was just playing like utter garbage, and there felt like there's nothing I can do. And then I took a quick break, and then all of a sudden, I'm able to play well again. So, so with the uh, the Palutena and you know. Future wasn't able to make it today, and uh, <laughs> I wasn't able to lose to K roll around too. Well, I mean, how, how did it, uh, how did today feel? You know, a little bit easier run through winners. You know, you had less of a climb. So I didn't. I want to say it was like an easier run through winners before. Like, like last time, there wasn't a winners run. There was my round one, and then I lost to Future. But <laughs> what's up? Yeah, Chory doesn't like me. But today I did say in winners. That was cool. Glad I was able to not lose to a K roll round two. It, feel, it feels kind of disingenuous to win a tournament, but you lost to K yeah. round two. When, I mean, when you when you can't come still. back, Fuchsia is very good, but, but you didn't quite get your run back on him. Pallet cheats. <laughs> Chore you, everybody. I swear to God, if you don't prom, I will fucking take you. Probably. My prom is uh, trash. So you, so you, so you didn't have your run back with Abe this time. Uh, or did yeah, yeah. You? I didn't get, I didn't get to play him today. He ended up losing to uh, actually Sephiroth. Both, both Sephiroth. Yeah. <laughs> Sephiroth. He ended up losing to Street Design Sephiroth, and he lost in winners to uh, Troy Sephiroth in that reverse three zero. Yeah. Yeah. So. He, I know he had a little bit of a rough time today. Do you wish you could have played him again, or do, are you happy that you got there? I was expecting to, but Shorty was, was putting in some work today, so I didn't get to. The, the Sephiroth was on point. I was uh, I was a little disappointed he couldn't make it last time, but I was happy to see him here today. Yeah, he did register last time, right? Yeah. Um, but with, were you expecting the Sephiroth to take him that far? Or were you expecting to see him, I'm assuming top eight, were you expecting to see him in grand? Well, I was expecting to see him, at the very least, in top eight. But yeah. Again, he, like seating wise, he wasn't supposed to beat Dave. He beat Dave. I don't know if he was seated to beat Street Design, but he beat Street Design. I think he was our third seat this go around. Okay. I think Street was our fourth seat. So. I have a question from the audience. Oh, well, first of all, can you get a little closer to the mic? Oh, okay. And then okay. second, um, how is Mediocre's all Uh it's, it's the best in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, man, uh, you know, of course we like having you here. Of course we enjoy uh, you being here. We hope you come back. We're going to try and do this again in about two weeks. Um, hopefully we can have a little more competition for you. Otherwise, you're going to have to go yeah, through your three those, those were Those were very winnable sets for Choryu. There's no, like, the first one was the reverse 3-0, so that was clearly winnable. And that one was, what, 3-1? 3-1. So, again, winnable for sure. Who who do you think you want to like have here to challenge your throne? I won't call it a throne. I, I don't feel <laughs> nearly that secure about it. But honestly, pretty much anybody that's willing to show up because I was three one. Yeah, you you next next time we'll be doing PCC. You will be going for your three P. So hopefully. hopefully, hopefully we'll see. We'll have to try and see if we can find somebody to challenge you next time. See. So. <laughs> Street says he's gonna do it next time. He's gonna Street, dethrone Street you. Street does not want me. Does not want me to win. Understandable. <laughs> All right, man. Anything else you want to say, just to have on the record? Uh, Politana is a good character. Very, very. Tabak? All right. Tabak? Thank you, everybody. Tabak? We appreciate it. Thank you, Chris, for letting us use PCC here at 2020 in Lake Shore Mall, Gainesville, Georgia. And y'all take it easy.